Hey, welcome back to my channel. So today's video is going to be an update to my Project Palette Palette Plus Mini Palette for 2017. So let's just jump in, I guess. So for my big palette project for Pan That Palette, I am panning the Swamp Queen palette. And I will say, before I show you the inside, I have not had that much luck yet in progress. I have gotten really jealous of other people's progress because people have like dips and like pans visible and I'm like super slow and not getting anywhere fast. And there are two reasons why I keep having issues with this. And number one is that I keep waking up way too late in the mornings to do makeup. So I mean like 90% of the time I'm going to work with nothing. With like I am lucky to do my skincare routine in the morning and that's about it. So I'm kind of shooting myself in the foot as far as project pans go because I'm not using my products for the project pans. And reason number two is that when I wake up in the morning and I grab the palette and I can do my makeup, I'm always like, oh, what what look should I do today? And I feel like that's really hindering me because I'm also like jumping all over the place when it comes to the palettes. So my solutions are obviously number one, it's going to be get my ass up earlier so I can actually like use my shit because I do feel good when I get to use it. And my second solution is I'm going to focus on specific shades for the month. So I will show you the palette and then we will talk about the shades. So here's what the inside looks like. Damn it, phone. And I am only focusing on the eyeshadows. So I'm not using these. Um, I mean, I might use them, but I'm not trying to pan them. I'm trying to pan only the eyeshadows. So what I've decided to do, because you can see, I mean, there's not a lot of like, there's some shadows that are like more used than others, but there's not a lot of dips going on. It would be kind of encouraging to see like some kind of dip going on because then you know that you're closer than you are farther away, right? So what I'm going to do is I've decided for the month of March, I'm going to focus on this row of shadows right here. And that is Haunting, Uncommon, and Man Cat. So yeah, these purples right up here, or actually it's the bottom of the palette, but it's upside down. And these are a little bit sheer. Um, the darkest shades, honestly, in this palette are these three on the side. Um, everything on, over here kind of applies really sheer which is nice. It's it's nice for like more natural eye looks, um, subtle colors, stuff like that. It, some of them are buildable. So what I've decided to do with those three shades is to come up with a basic eye look that I will do every single day for work. And hopefully that means that by the end of this month, when I do my update for March, I will actually see some significant progress in those shades. And at that point, I don't know if I will continue using just those three until I hit pan in them or just like switch to another three and like kind of bounce around that way month to month. But yeah, that's my plan going forward for now. And you know, like I said, hopefully next time I show you this, it will be looking a little bit more used up, but that's my progress for right now. Um, I would find a shot from an earlier video to show you, but there's not really, like, it's kind of sad for something that I've supposedly been trying to use for two months, not a lot of progress going on. But like I said, I am taking steps to try to remedy that, and hopefully, next update, I will be successful. And then really quickly, my mini palette is this Lancome palette I got as a gift with purchase. <clears throat> so this is what the inside looks like. So for this one, I have actually been focusing mainly on this shade right here. I was use I've been using that as like an all over lid shade to um, set my eyeshadow primer. So I'm just gonna be using this one really for now, um, and then move on from there into the other shades. The pans on this freaking thing are like deceptively deep. Like I thought this would be like really easy to get through as long as I was using it consistently, but. This is going to take a while too and eventually I'm going to get to that gray and that black and that's going to be a lot of fun. So. so yeah, I mean that's pretty short of a video but 
that's all I have to say right now. Not a lot of progress to show, like I said. So just telling you guys my plans going forward. And, you know, check back in with me next month. See if I'm successful. Subscribe if you want to. Like, comment, whatever. All that whole spiel. And I'll see you guys next video, maybe. Right? Bye!